Man, oh man, do I have something for you aspiring savages today. It is the One Tiger's Poncho Slash Shelter. This nifty little guy here is 60 bucks on Amazon. It comes in coyote brown or ranger green, and it weighs 22.5 ounces. And here it is. This is all that comes in it. This monstrosity right here is made out of 75D ripstop nylon. Now we'll test the ripstop later on, but as far as the seams go, uh, to be completely honest, I thought I could rip it. I guess I need to hit it with my purse. I would definitely say these seams are almost as strong as my urge to make fun of blue haired overweight commies. This beautiful piece of equipment here also has a waterproof coating on it. It's rated 1500 mm waterproof rating. I did not know what 1500 mm meant. Shocker, I know. I had to have a long talk with my buddy Google this morning and it says that there is no internationally recognized standard of what waterproofing means. 1500 mm is thought to be the minimum waterproofing and they say it can handle most conditions. And I hate to say it's made in commie love in China for God's sakes, but not every single thing that comes out of China is bad. They make some elusive little spy balloons, don't they? While I finish running my cock holster about the specs of this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, break up some of the monotony of this video. There we go. The description says that it's not made for people underneath 5'6". Keep your head up short, Kings. This world just wasn't made for us. I'm five foot nine and I almost trip over it. So I, I'm guessing if you're five, six, five, seven, you're definitely gonna trip over it unless you have a rucksack on to kind of help hold it up some. See, I'm, I'm stepping on the little cords and strings at the end here. Make sure you put a rucksack on with this if you're short. Why do I feel like this is something Kanye West would wear like every day? Look at this. You got Velcro on the side to put patches on. I like to support the home team, American flag. Don't tread on me. Commie lives don't matter, you know, stuff like that. We got some Velcro here. I'm not really a big fan of Velcro when it comes to outdoor stuff. This seems pretty damn decent though. And it has a zipper just in case your Velcro messes up. By the way, this thing has YKK zippers. Only two Ks there, YKK. And from what I've read, these are really awesome zippers. A lot of outdoors companies use them. And as far as like how it's stitched into the uh, material there, Seems pretty decent. It's double stitched in there, so I like that. And the whole zipper and everything seems like it's pretty damn sturdy. Um, all the outdoorsmen and all the guys that spend a lot of time outside are going to tell you that zippers and Velcro wear out pretty damn quick. So from what I'm reading, these things are some of the best. And it's a heavy duty. You feel it's like heavier. It's heavy duty. It's better than probably a lot of the zippers on my rucksacks or my backpacks I have. Here's with the rucksack on. It does definitely help a lot when you put a rucksack on. I can tell the difference. So if you're shorter like me, throw a rucksack on. It's going to bring it up off the ground so you're not tripping all over it. Now time to set this guy up as a tent. Now the description on Amazon says you might need a trekking pole. We use sticks around here. Be a man. And here is the finished product. As you can see, a little over, probably three foot high, I'd say. Big enough to fit one person for sure. As you can see over here, I'll show you the footage of the zipper. All along the side of it is for you to put a second poncho up against this one and you can make a full tent out of it. And you can fit two people comfortably in there. As you can see, it can fit one person pretty comfortably. I don't know, maybe if you're kissing cousins, maybe two, but I don't want anybody that close to me. So it comes with six stakes. Um, it don't give you a stake to tie this down with. You could use a stick, I guess. And you just tie it down so the armholes don't flap open and you get water in there. But if you tie it down to this stake, it looks like the wind can blow it over and there's an open hole right here. If you zoom in here, you see there's an open hole. I don't really like that. So I guess if you were concerned about it and you didn't want to tie it to here, you could tie it up underneath with a stick and it would keep it more flat to the poncho or to the tent. So the wind wouldn't blow it open as easy. Now this thing doesn't make the claim that it's indestructible or it can't be ripped, but it does say it's rip stop material. And I like to push things to their limits. So here's a pretty pointy stick. So 
So in my opinion, the One Tigers poncho slash tent is well worth the $60 it costs to buy on Amazon. As you can see, it has an amazing design. It's a lot longer and a lot more durable than other ponchos. The stitching is amazing on it. The material is really durable. I took the stick and I rubbed the stick on it really hard. It's pretty damn waterproof. And I will put out a short here soon explaining how waterproof and showing you guys. I just couldn't fit it into this video. I didn't want it to be a 10 minute video. Also the fact it has so many good reviews and you could buy a second one to butt up to this one, zip them together and you have a full size tent. I would definitely give this thing a nine out of 10. The only thing I think I would change is the fact that it's not fully waterproof. It's only 1500 mm waterproof rating. I'm not sure that's how you say that. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip here. I would like it to be fully waterproof. And I think the reason they don't do that is because it wouldn't breathe very well. And this thing breathes really well. This thing is pretty damn amazing. One of the best ponchos I've ever seen or used. And I do recommend every outdoorsman, anybody who spends a lot of time outside, stick one in your bug out bag. They don't weigh a whole lot and they really don't cost that much. Strive to be a fucking unit. Stay savage and stay in shape, fellow freedom lovers. I'll see you guys next time.